time now for us to take your queries on Auto Selector. Sirish joins us. Hey, Sirish, our first question is from Navi Mumbai. Ashish Singh writes in saying he knows that the i20 is a two box car and the Desire is a three box car, but if he has to choose between the i20 Magna or the Desire VXI, which one should he select? He's got a budget of between 5.2 and 5.7 lakh rupees. He needs a comfortable and fuel efficient car. The running is approximately 300 to 450 kilometers a month. He loves both cars and he wants to keep this car for about six to seven years. Which one should he go for? See, it's a very easy question to answer. If you need a boot, then it's the desire. If you don't need a boot, if you can accept a hatchback, then it is the i20. That's the easy answer. Now, I know this is a big uh, conundrum. A lot of readers have written to us whether we should go for a sedan or whether we should go for a hatchback. Personally, listen, I live in Pune. I don't have a very big family. I don't need a bo uh, big boot. I don't do too many airport runs. So I would personally take the i20. I think it's a far better looking car. It has far better interiors. It's ride and handling. Its dynamics are much better than the Desire. The Desire, it's a nice car. It's based on the Swift, but because they have put in that boot at the back, the rear suspension is softer, and that doesn't give it the dynamic edge that the Swift has. So in all respects, I would take the i20. It does not have a very powerful engine, and that's its only drawback. But otherwise, it makes a lot of sense. It's a more modern car. So even after six, seven years, it will not look as dated as a Swift Desire will. On to our next question now. This comes into us from Sumanth Reddy. He writes in from Bangalore. He says he's going to be buying a diesel car in a few months. He shortlisted the Hyundai Verna and the Fiat Linear. His budget is about 8 to 10 lakh rupees. He mostly wants it for driving in city and sometimes on a highway. Priorities for him, styling, fuel economy, safety, good interior room, and should be easy to drive in the city. The Fiat Linear or the Verna? Okay, see, if value for money and if looks are a are overriding priorities, then it is the Linea. There is no other sedan that is as well priced and has so much equipment as the Linea. But since your budget is 8 to 10 lakhs, you've got a decent enough budget. And I think you should go in for the Verna. Number one, it has an automatic option with that diesel engine. So it's a very easy car to drive. It does lose out on a bit of performance, but in a city like Bangalore with your stop-go traffic, I think it's a much better option to go for the Verna with the diesel engine. It has more space inside. It has better refinement. It has, uh, it's more comfortable for long highway driving. So in most respects, it doesn't look as good as the Linea, and it doesn't have that road presence as the Linea. It uh, looks a bit Korean. But apart from that, I would ignore all that, and I would go for the Verna, and preferably the Verna automatic diesel. That brings us to the end of this Auto Selector series. Many thanks for joining us to answer all the queries that our viewers have sent in.